good morning and welcome to today's broadcast. This is, uh, I'm filling in for Pastor Matt Anderson and I'm Michelle Witte. I'm the youth leader for Surprise Church, grades six through 12. And I am very glad to be here today. Um, we're actually sitting in a home, I believe it's a 1921 home, and we are just chilling and we're just relaxing and we're just going to be really real so i hope you're okay with that so if you're at home and you're on your couch in your pajamas or on your computer just relax and um we just um we're going to say an opening prayer and we're going to dig right into today's message lord thank you for this beautiful day thank you for this gift of today you are a good, good God, and we thank you and we praise you for just every little thing and every big thing in our life. Um, help us to not take things for granted. The list of blessings that each of us could write down is very long. So Lord, we give this message um, as an offering. I just pray that you'll speak through me and use me. And uh, whatever message each of us needs to hear, just um, penetrate our hearts, our minds, our ears, penetrate us, move us, and change us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, welcome. We are on the second series of Why We Sing. And this one is going to be about praise and gratitude and thanksgiving. Why do we sing? So we're going to get into gratitude, um, giving thanks to God and being grateful in the good times, the bad times, um, and asking ourselves a few questions. And I want you guys to be involved and in interacting as well in your living room with your family, by yourself, jot stuff down, have a pen and paper, and let's dig into this. So the very first thing we're going to start with is I'm going to interview a really, really good friend of mine, and we're going to talk about gratitude. Um, and so my friend is Roxanne Klein and yeah, well, I'm just going to dig right in. So Roxanne, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for saying yes. And I know when I first asked you if you would do this, you were going to initially say no. Right. And right. so why were you going to say no to this? Well, in all honesty, it was, that's the... The devil just whispered in my ear, telling me, you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. no, no one wants to hear your story. Mm -hmm. it's, you're just going to not, not be good enough. Yeah. So. And then um, you said this morning, I sent you a message again about asking you whether or not you would do it. And so tell, tell us why you decided to say yes. Yes, I was going to initially just... Mm -hmm. Say no. Well, yeah. I had I'd gotten in my car and I'd read your message before I'd gotten in my car and got in and I had my peanut butter sandwich in one hand <laughs> and heading off to work, started the van and on the radio immediately started playing the song Come What May. Mm -hmm. And I did. I, mm -hmm. I've listened to that song so many times sing along to that song mm -hmm. so many times but this morning those words they hit different yeah and they spoke to me mm -hmm. and i did I, I drove all the way to mandan to work crying mm -hmm. sobbing with my peanut butter sandwiches <laughs> in hand. yeah but to me that was the lord saying no roxanne you are good enough mm -hmm. no matter what's going on what you're going through yeah. You got this. Yeah. So awesome how God does this and <laughs> how he uses music at just the right time and different things. So um, since we're talking about gratitude, I would ask one question. Do you feel that you are a pretty grateful person? Yes. Okay. Do you feel if, um, if I asked the Roxanne, the younger Roxanne from like 10 years ago, do you feel like your grateful heart has grown quite a bit from 10 years ago, stayed the same or gotten less grateful? Absolutely has grown so much that you wouldn't, you, it, 
it's huge how much mm -hmm. it's growing. Huge yes. in 10 years. Yes. So why do you think it's grown so much in 10 years? I mean, um, if someone was didn't really know you and they wanted to ask you, I mean, why would you have such a huge, huge grateful heart now, but 10 years ago it was maybe an average? What do you think you'd say? Mm, fully and truly and completely the growth in my relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Straight up. Uh -huh. Yeah. So um, I know you've had so many great things happen in your life. Yes. And then I yes. know you've had a lot of tragedies and tough, tough times. So someone may say, with all of those tragedies, wouldn't your heart be less grateful because, you know, this happened and this happened? Um, um, wouldn't you actually get like maybe a little bitter or resentful or less grateful because of the things that God allowed that were bad? Or what would you say to somebody that maybe didn't know Jesus? and they're just asking some questions like that. Here's a deal, I ain't gonna lie. I've mm -hmm. been pretty angry with, with God at times lately. Mm -hmm. But I don't stay angry with him. I, I choose to, I talk with God. Mm -hmm. I will, I'll, again, on my way to work, I'll talk, I'll yell, mm -hmm. I'll, he knows my heart. He knows my anger. Yep. And through all that, he he brings me peace. Mm. And I and I just keep hearing, "Be still. Be still." Yeah. Yeah. And it's okay. I can't I can't hide my anger. Mhm. Uh -huh. He knows it. Right. So instead of stuffing it, you do let your anger right. out and you talk to him about your anger. That's my awesome. My tears, my anger. Yeah. Yes. He's yeah. Talk with them and yeah. Now, would you say when you shed tears now compared to ten years ago, are there a lot more tears of joy, gratitude, and some cleansing tears and sadness? But um, I know that you are a person who does shed a lot of tears, even at worship. And what would you say that's about? The tears, mm. the tears during worship, they just come, they, mm -hmm. they come, they, they cleanse it. Like you say, yeah. they just cleanse. And I can come, come into church with that anger and that frustration, mm -hmm. that sadness and that grief mm -hmm. and being able to worship and to sing and to just let the tears flow. Yeah. Being able to leave just, I don't know, mm -hmm. still. Yeah. That, that word still, just be still. Yeah. Just, he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. So, um, you know, maybe we, I don't know if we overuse grateful or uh, thankful. You know, we can thank people for things that they do and be grateful to people for what they do. But it's a different level when we're thanking God and thanking Jesus for what, what he's done. Um do you feel like when you have a really grateful heart, um, do you feel like other people can totally feel it and see it and they absolutely know without a shadow of a doubt how grateful you are to Jesus and to everything that he's done? Um, do you think it's pretty evident to other people? If they knew you 10 years ago and now they know you now, would oh, yeah. they see the change? Definitely. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, do you ever uh, maybe sing songs in your car or your shower or whatever, even in the bad times of different songs of thanksgiving and gratefulness where you're actually worshiping outside of the church? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what do you think that does to a person and their heart to just be in worship in the shower, in your car, in nature? I mean, what does that do um, I don't want to say for you, but when you're doing that and you're really in worship, you are praising God and being so grateful. Um, how did you get to the point where 
you're just going for it, whether it's at church or anywhere, you just want to praise him, thank him, worship him. Um, I'm trying to think where I'm going here. <laughs> um, but you know, even when I watch you, Roxanne, at worship, um, knowing everything that you've gone through and your family has gone through, it is so, you might be smiling so big and crying at the same time. And when you're singing and worshiping, I mean, you know, like you said, the tears might just be flowing, but there's a joy and a peace, even in the tears and the sadness, there is a joy and a peace. And it's so obvious to me. And I can just look over at you and I knew you many, many years, but just, <laughs> it was just a weird story how Roxanne and I have a connection. Yeah. But, um, I knew her many years ago briefly and then came to surprise church Bismarck and there she is <laughs> there her and her husband are but um i know that one of your very best friends has died recently and you were there the whole way that's your sister-in-law and then your niece is now battling cancer and it's one thing after another but instead of complaining complaining and complaining it almost seems like you've gone the other way instead of complaining 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 and it is absolutely amazing and I would say the only thing we could say is like you said, Jesus, Jesus is what it is. It is what Jesus, uh -huh. Jesus is what it is. Uh -huh. Would you say that your gratefulness to people and how they've loved on you and loved on your family during a time of crisis, your gratitude for them and just what loving people can do is just amazing. Yes. Uh -huh. I mean, it's just everyone's kindness and mm. willingness just to listen or lend a hand or mm -hmm. drop off a meal or yeah. do some shopping. And it's just so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm going to cry again. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. But these are not sad tears. Mm -hmm. These are these these are tears of just total awe mm. in the blessings. Yeah. That that we're all receiving from people who don't know us. Right. Yeah. Pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty awesome. You know, and we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or next week. And just being so grateful to God for so many things. And like you, you said, you choose in your car, you were choosing to turn the radio station to the Christian radio station. You were choosing to be grateful. Um, that was one word you did say that you were choosing. And sometimes I think we do have to be intentional and choose to do that because sometimes if we do start going down in the pit and start complaining out loud and getting, um, talking only about our problems, then we can dig ourselves into a hole. And I think the devil gets a lot of joy out of that. But when we choose joy and we choose to be grateful and sing and praise God, even in the midst of trials, our hearts just completely change and um, amazing things happen when we choose to be grateful. So that's really what this message is about today is singing his praises and being super grateful. It's easy to kind of do that when things are going great. Yeah. But when things are not going so great, um, we got to do it. We got to thank him in all circumstances. Amen. Amen. Anything else, Roxanne, you want to say to anyone who's listening, who maybe doesn't know Jesus, um, is really having a tough time, is down in the dumps, depressed. What would you say? I would say, wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. open your eyes. Thank the Lord that you're able to get out of that bed mm -hmm. and you choose joy. You choose to worship the Lord mm -hmm. and sing, sing yeah. those praises because yeah. when that happens, the devil flees. Yep. And yes, there's no way yes. that you can be down at that point. Right. No, you do take care of disabled or I don't like the word disabled, but, um, people, people with disabilities, disabilities yes. people with disabilities. And you've done that for how many years? Uh, 22 years. Okay. Yeah. So would you say taking care of these people that have disabilities has made you even more grateful for your health, your legs, your arms, your lungs. And do you get a lot of joy out of caring for these people and why? <laughs> 
absolutely. And yes, the people that I get to care for are amazing individuals. I mean, it doesn't matter that they have a disability. Mm -hmm. They're there. They have so much to give back and being able to be in their lives and mm. see that and receive that is just, I don't know, it's just amazing to me. Pastor Matt last week was talking about a gentleman who always comes to church and he's not really verbal with his words, but he can really exclaim and sing in a different way when we're worshiping and he's worshiping, but in his own way. And so it's yes. really cool. Yes, he is nonverbal. Yep. Um, I'm gonna say his name. Josh and I yep. have been friends for years. Um, yep. I've gotten to work with Josh in so many different ways and getting to know him and understanding how he will communicate with others mm. is, I don't know, I guess it's just something that, that's Josh. Mm -hmm. and, and, and to hear that other people see that, yeah, he is worshiping. Yeah. It doesn't Definitely. matter that he can't speak. Yeah. That's right. He is worshiping 100%. Absolutely. Well, I want to thank Roxanne for being here today. And we're just sitting on a couch and we're just having conversation. And so I want to encourage each and every one of you to do that, either with your family or a friend. And just like she said, be still. Be still. Grab a cup be of coffee. Still. Take the time to do this. And you won't regret it. And you'll see that God will do amazing things in and through you. I'm going to sing this song. I'm going to try to anyway. And we're talking about being thankful and grateful. So I'm going to try to sing this song. And if you know it, I hope you'll sing it along. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ his son. And now let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. I love that song. It's so simple, but it's so super powerful. So I hope you sing along with me on that. We're going to go and we are going to go to a Bible verse right now about being thankful. And here we go. Psalm 100 verses 1 through 5. A psalm for giving thanks. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Isn't that amazing? So I challenge you this week, write that down, put it on your fridge, put it on your dash, your bathroom um, mirror. Psalm 100 verses one through five, and there's gonna be different versions, but we need that message today and every day. Um, we gotta remember that. So I love that one. The next one is Psalm 149, verse 1. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise in the assembly of the godly. And then Psalm 98, 1. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. And we could go on and on. I believe the word thankfulness is in the Bible 30 times 30, 31 times, I guess you could Google it. Um, well, we are in this cozy, awesome little old house. And isn't it cool? Like today's message is about being grateful and thankful. And today, 
Everywhere I turned, I either heard the word grateful or thankful, or I saw the word thankful or grateful. And uh, we went upstairs and toured this house that we're recording in, and on the bed is a pillow. It says grateful. Then we enter into the dining room, and it says gather here with grateful hearts. It's like, wow. Now, I'm going to ask a few questions. Would you say overall you are a very, very grateful person? Okay. Who are you grateful to most of the time? I mean, are you grateful to your husband more than anybody, your kids? Who, is, who are you grateful to um, more than anyone? Um, ask yourself that question. And if you answered, no, I'm not a grateful person, why is that? What has happened that you're not a grateful person? Or do you feel like, hey, I should be entitled to a lot more things. I don't have half the things I need. I don't have half the things I want. Just be honest with yourself. Um, do you feel like you're constantly wanting what other people have? So it makes it very difficult for you to be grateful and feel blessed. Uh, just think about those things and about yourself. Um, I worked in nursing homes probably, oh boy, about 25 years I worked in nursing homes. And I saw, I guess the youngest child was one year old. And then the oldest, I think, was 104. So working with these people, these, um, well, you wouldn't say elderly, but these people in need that we helped care for, it made me even more grateful when I would go home. I was more grateful working in those places because I would see people that would switch places with me in a heartbeat, uh, people that could not walk, talk, feed themselves, dress themselves. And instead of making it really depressing for me, I wanted to bring joy to them, love to them. And then I was so much more grateful. And um, I've also visited with people who lived through the Great Depression and they would tell me some of the hardships that they went through and they had the best attitude. It made me more grateful. Um, and so we're gonna have a, a moment here where we are going to write down some of these things and we're gonna give you a chance to do that. And um, I do want you to do that and maybe even discuss it with your family or your very best friend. Um, write down a few blessings that you have um, and see what happens. Thank God for these things every single day when you wake up and before you go to bed. Um, like Roxanne was saying, she chooses to turn the radio station to a song that is about gratitude or worship. And she worships in her car. She's making a choice to turn that channel instead of listening to the news or some other weird thing. She chooses to worship in her car, in the shower and, um, Roxanne has been through a lot of things and I've seen the huge, huge growth in her and what God has done in and through her going through these trials. And um, it's actually super amazing. Sometimes you wish you had a magic wand and you could avoid people um, going through hardships or you could just take away their pain. And that's not how it works. But like she said, so many people are loving on them and coming alongside of them and praying for them. She's got such a grateful heart and she's not bitter and resentful. I think she's closer to Jesus than she's ever been in her life. And at the end of this video, we are going to have some awesome songs by the worship team and just let your heart worship. Just give God a grateful heart and just worship. Um, I know in our house, I would have Christian music and I'd be worshiping at home. And sometimes my family would say, you know, shut that off. I mean, come on, get something decent on. And this is a years ago. And before I knew it, some of those songs that I was playing at my home that they said they didn't like, it wasn't too long. They were turning on YouTube or whatever and listening to those very same songs and singing along. And it's pretty cool how that can happen. But, um, you know, music is just so good for the soul. And when I was talking about nursing home residents, the very, very last thing that will, will go from a lot of these people with dementia or Alzheimer's is the words of those famous, unbelievable hymns, 
like how great thou art, those kind of songs, they might have forgotten everything and who they are and where they are, but by golly, they still know how great thou art. Just a closer walk with thee. Um, what a friend we have in Jesus. And they just sing it out. And why that is, I don't know. But it's, it's cool what God is doing in and through us in the good times and the bad times. So choose joy. Choose to be grateful. Thank you for joining us today. You're invited every single Sunday. We have worship services 9:30 and 11 at Shiloh Christian School. Um, if you have a, anyone in grades 6 through 12, we have an amazing youth group, and we'd love for you to join us. We have a kids group on Sundays. Uh, we have a, a free nursery. You can join us on Facebook. We have a website, surprisechurch.com. We just invite you to be connected with us and... Uh, we'd love you to be a, a part of our online services. And thank you each and every one for joining us. And God bless you. Join us again.